The ninth release from Fun City Editions is Morven Caller, um, a 2002 movie, the follow-up to Ratcatcher, directed by Lynn Ramsey and starring Samantha Morton as the titular character. And here we have a character who is at a kind of crossroads of her life, a forced crossroads because of something that has happened. At the start of the movie, we see her lying with the body of her boyfriend, a boyfriend who's committed suicide. It's Christmas time, she is just very intimate with the body. You see her kind of lying close to it, having her moment of grief uh, and dealing with this situation before almost disassociatively moving away and back into her regular life. You know, you see this woman who has such a traumatic experience and then she kind of just falls back into the routine of what everything uh, would normally be going on in her life. Going to a night out, meeting up with friends, uh, dealing with the fact that, that, that her boyfriend may have gone. Her, her strongest uh, attachment to this life has departed the world. And through this character, you just get to see her go through the motions for the most part. Um, and it's very much a character study of a, a, a wonderful character whom is making these life altering decisions because there's nothing holding her back anymore. Where have you been? I'm freezing to death. Sorry. Where is it then? It's not coming. Um, you never get to see her relationship with her boyfriend, you only get to see the aftermath and how it impacts her life there and how certain things just change everything about it. You know, her, her, hus her husband, her boyfriend has left a note saying that he's finished his manuscript. He, who's only referred to as him or in the movie other than the uh, written name that we see at one point, is a character whom we get an idea is wanted to be a literary figure who's wanted to leave a mark uh, and this is it, he's wrote a story, he wants to have it published posthumously and then leave his legacy um, as a mystery, you know, a light that shined bright uh, but died out too quickly, almost, but Morvan Caller uh, makes some interesting choices throughout this. She decides to change the name on this, the novel to her name. She decides to use the money that he's left for his burial to go on a holiday, to explore, to get out of the small town that she's always been a part of, that she's never experienced a bigger world. She's taking this opportunity to do that. And you see the almost metamorphosis of a character from being what she always should have been, all the things that she was supposed to do, into being a person that's more attuned to her, doing what she wants to do, experiencing new things. Mervo Collar? Marvin Calla. Marvin Collar? Marvin Calla. Marvel? And it's really well done um, and there's some startling sequences in here that have really stuck with me. The the scene of Samantha Morton uh, in her underwear with a, a Walkman duct taped to her uh, mirrored glasses on cutting up the body of her boyfriend is such a startling image um, but one of those ones that really sticks with you. Seeing Morvan uh, just move through this world, you know, starting to experience things, going on holiday, realising that this kind of culture isn't for her, moving into a smaller, uh, more local life, away from all the tourist traps is something that's so exciting to her and just makes everything worthwhile. The connection with people throughout the holiday, throughout the movie, it is something that just allows us to see this character really starting to take control of her life. It's one of the things that is a lot of interpretation into the movie. What you see in that character, how you see her uh, deal with things and how she moves on is something that's really interesting. There's lots of little facets that are dropped throughout the movie. The fact that she was um, adopted at one point. Uh, she never really had that strong parental figures that were always there throughout her life. She, people have always came and gone. People that she's loved have always kind of left at some point and she's been 
uh, kind of left alone and that's the kind of lifestyle that she likes. She likes to flirt with people but ultimately you've got a feeling this is a character who wants to move through life very much on their own, doing their own kind of thing. Nobody is really like her. She's a standout personality whereas her friends may want uh, the lifestyle of, of, of a kind of holiday. Typical, she wants to move to the more sedate and naturalised uh, type of way of life. And, and I kind of like that about that character a lot. Her coming to terms with the choices she's made uh, and being better at making better choices for her. I think that's something we'd all like to do. Wonderful performances throughout this and the way the movie's shot and the way that it tackles its score are, are all exemplary but I was just locked into the character of Morven on the first watch. The second watch is more experiential where you're starting to just feel the mood, feel the rhythm of the film and, and enjoy some of the other performances like Lana, her best friend who is wonderful in the movie as well. The, the way it's, uh, the footage is shot within the nightclubs. Uh, the barren streets or um, the small town that she lives in it just all comes together in a wonderful package Morven Caller is a fantastic movie it's already one of my favourite releases of the year just sheer on the movie alone this edition comes with a bunch of extras uh, but my favourite was the commentary Alexandra Heller Nicholas and Joss Nelson whom have a deep love for this movie and it comes through and it opened my eyes to some things that I hadn't quite seen the first time around as well. Absolutely outstanding release. My friend uh, Joel in Canada who I've been talking to a lot absolutely adores this movie. He was raving about it. I'm glad to see it lived up to my expectations uh, and the praise that he lavished upon it. Strongly recommend picking this one up. Uh, no, Lynn Ramsey, I don't think, can do any wrong. This is another fantastic movie. Get it while you can. It's just amazing. There's more Quentin up here if you want to see more of my stuff. If you've got a brief second, hit the like button. And if you really want to support the channel and talking about movies like this, you can join the Patreon and the membership program for as little as 99p a month. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man B Film.